select Open to enter the authoring environment where you can edit the lesson. The lesson opens in preview mode, or how a student would see it. In this view, you can navigate and interact with the lesson. LT lessons consist of a series of scrollable pages. When you want to make changes, select the Edit button. Within pages are discrete elements, called panels. When a panel is selected, you are able to change the content and functionality of that panel by selecting Edit or simply selecting the panel again. LT is a cloud-based platform, so your work will be saved automatically. You can always undo changes by selecting the Undo button or using your normal keyboard shortcuts. Once you've finished your edits, select the Done button or the grey area outside of the panel. To move a panel, select and drag the panel to where you want it to be placed. A blue bar will indicate the panel's new position. Just release your cursor to place the panel. Notice that panels automatically resize to fit the new layout. To manually resize a panel, select it and drag the orange bars. To add a new panel to a page, select Panels. There are a variety of panel types to choose from, including basic panels, question panels, multimedia panels, and panels specifically for data acquisition using the PowerLab. Once you've found the panel you want, simply drag it onto the page. Again, the blue bar indicates where the panel will be placed and the surrounding panels will resize automatically. White space panels help align content on the page. Don't worry, the dashed grey lines around a white space panel will not be visible to students or those previewing the lesson. To confirm this, select Preview. Notice that the authoring tools also disappear in this view. Preview mode allows us to interact with panels as a student would. This is great for testing the student experience as you author your lesson. To return to edit mode, select Exit Preview. If you wish to edit a pop-up, there are two methods available. One is to select the text linked to the pop-up, then select the Insert Pop-up button. This opens the pop-up library. Here you will see which pop-up the text is linked to, as well as all the other pop-ups available. To change which pop-up the text is linked to, simply select another pop-up and then OK. You can also create a new pop-up by selecting New. Pop-ups are authored just like a regular lesson page, with panels that can be added and rearranged. There is also the option to have a summary pop-up. To review your changes as a student would, enter preview mode and select the updated pop-up. Notice how a summary pop-up appears first, with a link to the full screen pop-up. The pop-up library can also be accessed directly from the Pages button, under Edit Pop-ups. When you finish editing your lesson, select Close Lesson to return to the admin pages. Remember, any changes you've made are saved automatically.